If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are trying out this player of the year, Mohamed Salah, and he looks really, really nice. 99 pace, 98 shooting, uh, 95 passing, 99 dribbling, and 92 physical. This is insane stats for a player like this. But this is pretty much the same stats his team in the season one is gonna have. So would you do this SBC or would you just go for the tradable one that could possibly be cheaper? That's what I'm that's the route I'm going for, but two-star weak foot still. So keep that in mind, guys. And uh, that is that could be his downfall. So, guys, we have a lot to talk about here. This is the team we made around him. Everyone's untradeable except uh, David Luiz and Perez. Even Kalasanach, I got him in the base icon SBC uh, when you get the one player packs. he got I got him untradeable. It was crazy during the foot birthday promos. So, Mohamed Salah, let us see what stats he has. Now, I haven't put any chemistry style on him because I don't feel like there is anything that I really need to. So, 98. Uh, Rated 5 foot 9, high medium work rate, still has the 2 star weak foot. Could be terrible. Anyway, guys, make sure you check out G2A. Links will be in the description for the PSN cards, Microsoft points. Team of the season is this Friday. Make sure you are prepared. It's going to be a crazy couple of weeks coming. And then uh, probably World Cup mode sometime in May if EA stick to what they did in 2014. So, 98 um, acceleration, 98 sprint speeds. How does he have 99 pace? Someone tell me in the comments below. And he also has 98 uh, shooting. Now he has 99 attack positioning, 99 finishing, 95 shot power and 83 shooting. I mean, 83 long shots and 95 volleys. Penalties is 81. How does that add up to 98 when only two stats are above 98? Again, I don't know how EA does these calculations. Passing is 95, Vision's 99, 93 crossing. His free kick accuracy is getting there, but still quite bad. 77 free kick accuracy. Um, short passing is 99, long passing is 83, and curve is 89. Now, when you look at his agility, um, it's 98, 96 balance, 94 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 dri uh, dribbling, and 86 composure. His composure didn't go up by that much which is quite insane since he has 99 dribbling. If someone has 99 dribbling EA, I feel like everything should be 99, right? Anyway, um, actually, he only has two stats on 99, so how does that make his dribbling 99? I don't know if I'm doing this properly, so just let me know if it doesn't, if EA just doesn't average the stats out and show it on his face card stats. What do they do? What do they even mean? Anyway, guys, uh, defending 79 interceptions, that's quite high. And also he has 85 heading accuracy, 97 jumping, 99 stamina, 85 strength, and 87 aggression. Great balance between the strength and aggression. So this guy is going to feel quite strong, especially this guy is only like 5 foot 9. And that pace and that uh, dribbling with the ball control and the balance is going to be extremely hard to get the ball off him. I'm excited, guys. Are you excited? Let us see what we can do with him. All right, dudes, the first team we face. Oh, he's got a really nice Serie A. What do you even call this? Pretty much a really nice hybrid. Is he gonna know? Is he gonna know? Oh my God. What is that? He's so fast, I'm, I'm trying to control him. Salah, there we go. Outside the area, guys, finesse shot with this guy seems so smooth, so it just, it just feels right. So I like that, I like that about this Salah. And also his dribbling, oh my days, it feels so good. Look at that, what a finesse shot. The finesse shot seems so easy with him. <laughs> oh my god. This is dumb. Alright, so 35 minutes and we get another finesse shot. This guy was trying to push him off. I don't know who, who with though. I need to look back at it while I'm editing. 
Or maybe in the replay, actually he might rage quit so we won't be able to survive till the replay. So, while I'm editing I need to look back at and see who was trying to push him off, but... Finesse shots, pretty much cheating with the Salah. Um, we didn't have a chance to, to, you know, be in the penalty area and try and see his weak foot, if it's that ineffective, but it's two star, it's always going to be there in the back of your mind. And um, it's definitely going to limit you in the penalty area. But for now, two shots outside the penalty area, and that is what you get. Team, we the next team we face is a La Liga squad. There we go. Oh, I'm liking this, guys. Oh, no, he read that? Seriously? What? Kidding me? <laughs> How was that even a penalty? I need to see what I even did to him. I got the ball. I literally got the ball. I don't know how is that pen. Going to the left, guys. He goes to the right. Oh my days! <laughs> His left foot is disgusting. Wow. I didn't expect that to go in, I expected the keeper to get a hand on it so we could get a corner, test out his heading, he just goes in! Look at this! Test Dagen, mate! Disgusting goal, guys! Ref! Oh! Easy goal! Easy goal! 3-1. As soon as I got into that position, I knew he was going to score the finesse shots. Because Salah's finesse shots are too good. Too good to pass up on. They're better than his long shots. Positioning is always good. Everything about him feels good. It's only the two-star weak foot that you have to be careful with. So, look at this. As soon as I knew he gave me space there, it's a goal. The counter of dreams, boys. The counter of dreams? Crazy finesse shots! Like I told you, his finesse shots are disgusting in this game. 54th minute, I think that's three finesse shots outside the area. Something like that, like from the first match to the second match, I've highlighted this guy's disgusting to cut in with and finesse it. Oh my god, just like real life, guys! Just like real life, he's an aerial threat. Oh my days. One of the last things I expected in this video is to score a header, and there you go. <laughs> that was an amazing cross by Roberto Carlos, though. Look at that cross. Absolutely stunning cross. And uh, lands right on Salah's head, and I have to admit, guys, between this, the, the 98 rated Salah and the 93, there's a huge difference. One of the biggest differences I've had trying out different cards. Now there is a huge stat upgrade, but I didn't expect it to be this much of a difference. It's so good. It feels so, so good to actually feel the huge difference between these stat upgrades, you know? Does he miss any finesse shots? You know what? This card is disgusting. It's a cheat to use the Salah. He's not allowed. <laughs> he should not be allowed. If you just keep cutting in and just finessing it with him, you score every goal. You literally score every goal. Score every goal. Score every shot. Look at this. 
<laughs> to Stegen has been a nightmare for this guy in this matchup. And um, he should sub him off. But guys, this Salah is incredible. Amazing, amazing. The difference between this and the 93 rated is so big. Just so big. Look at look how fast he is. Who's that? Griezmann against him, mate. Griezmann, you ain't as fast, okay? Look at this. Oh my god. Salah, mate. Salah. Egyptian Messi. <laughs> I'm done with this Salah. Literally, you just finesse it from anywhere outside the area and it's just in. Seven goals. I think all of them look the same, right? Was it seven goals for this Salah? I don't feel like there's any point even playing another match. Every... Actually, no. He did score us ahead, though, which is surprising. I didn't expect to score ahead of a 5'9 player. Can we score one more finesse shot before this match ends, guys? I can't believe this guy... Oh, my God. Ref, give me the free kick. Okay, we have a free kick. We have a free kick. Maybe we could score a different kind of goal with this Salah. Even though free kicks are so difficult this year. Here we go, guys. If this goes in, this will be insane. Oh! No! <laughs> what? How much... How many times did that hit the post? Pause Salah. Let him do the honors. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, that was insane. And th that's the reason why there's no point playing another opponent. Salah, guys, definitely one of the best players I've tried out, especially the finesse shots, the dribbling, the ball control, how strong he is and how pacey he feels is just amazing. I'll definitely wait for the team this season one because eight goals, guys. Oh my God. Yeah, eight goals for this Salah, but definitely wait for the team this season one because you have to sink in so many coins for an untradeable player right now. Definitely just try out his loan cards, see if you like him. The two-star weak foot will always limit you. If you don't know how to cut in finesse shot, then you might not like this Salah that much because that's the most effective way to score with him. As you guys saw, we every time we finesse it, pretty much a goal. Unless the, uh, someone blocks it or it's off target. If it's on target, it was pretty much a goal every single time. It's insane. And sometimes he's not even facing the direction of the goal and he still finesses it in. It's dumb. So, attack positioning is amazing. Pacey player, one of the fastest this year, just because he's only 5'9". Not faster than Mertens, well, sorry, not faster than... Who did I play with? Maradona. Maradona is a lot faster, I feel. But um, very fast player. And um, just everything about him feels amazing. The dribbling, how strong he is at the same time. The long shots. We scored some crazy long shots as well. Guys, amazing player. No point of me playing the third match. Just because of what we were able to see and feel in this matchup. Between the 93 and the 98 rated, huge difference, guys. Believe me, there's a huge difference. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did, and hopefully you have a very nice day.